Hey everyone, welcome to Slay's Garage. In this video, we'll be unboxing and installing a refinished air filter housing that I got from jeeprecyclers.com. If this is your first time stopping by my channel, welcome. I upload a video on the Wagoneer and old car memorabilia every Tuesday and Thursday. So if any of that sounds good to you, please hit the like button on this video. Give me some feedback. Let me know how I did and subscribe to the channel. And now, Let's get into it. It looks nice, it feels nice. Oh, it's got a little clamp right here. Sweet. Hey, this baby. Wow, they did a great job on this. Oh, awesome. So I got this air filter housing and this hose from jeeprecyclers.com. Shout out to them. They did an awesome job painting this. And they were able to refinish it and make it look very nice. It looks nice and it feels nice too. They did a really good job. After I unboxed it, I tried to throw it on here and I was having a little trouble with it. The air filter housing wouldn't sit right on top of the carb. And I ended up finding this weird plastic piece that sat on top of the carburetor underneath my old air filter um, housing thing. And it, what I found was this rubber head, or rubber head gasket, rubber gasket, which I need a new one of these. This one's old and just kind of kind of cracked and wrinkling. So I need a new one of those. And then I also found this weird thing. I have no idea what it is. It's a piece of plastic. It looks like it goes to like some sort of container. Um, and right here, you can see like, it looks like someone cut this. So then it sat right here. Hopefully this all makes sense to you. <laughs> I don't know who did this. It was, it's pretty weird. <laughs> the things you find on old cars. This is my first old project car so i've been finding and uncovering a lot of weird stuff with this thing but anyways that's not the first weird thing the second weird thing i found when i was trying to put this air filter housing on was see this hose right here this hose goes to the radiator but the problem is that i'm having with it is it goes through this little inlet circle or oval shaped or rectangle shaped i don't know my shapes i guess this little rectangle shaped opening right here and that goes to this hose which goes to the air filter housing it runs from that port up to the air filter housing so then it has some cold air going to the air filter somewhere sometime along the line of whoever owned this car before me or just in the past in general put this hose through here into the radiator why why did they do that i don't and it goes up takes a bend right here and then stops right here kind of right before the fan i don't know what this hose is i'm not sure if you know please let me know down below the things you find when you're working on these cars these old cars is pretty interesting filter is officially installed and it looks amazing 
Here she is, check it out. I got everything sorted out. I removed the hose. I had to disconnect it right, uh, right, right up in here. And this goes to the radiator, which is um, kind of kind of interesting. Goes to the radiator right here, and then someone somewhere down the line stuffed it through this hole and then out. But anyways, I got it through this hole where another hose is running to this little guy right here. So looks great. Got the hose, runs under the battery terminal cables and up to the air filter housing. However, I do need an air filter because the one I have right here, it's too big. It'll fit in there, but it'll only filter the air in one spot. Today, after I got off work, I went to Walmart and attempted to buy an air filter for the Jeep, but sadly, I wasn't able to buy one because I didn't have any left in stock. So I'll be checking with another Walmart tomorrow. I was planning to film a little cool edit. One last thing before I go, I need a hose that connects from here to here, that little C-shaped hose. But anyway, she's looking good and she should run better since now it'll be able to breathe. All I had before was this air filter, which came on the Jeep and then it had a plate on the bottom and underneath and then it just sat on top so it wasn't really doing anything it was taking in the warm air that was coming off of the engine but now she will be able to breathe thanks to this hose and a proper air filter hey if you made it to the end of this video i want to thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch and if you could please give me some feedback and like the video go on over to the channel and check out my jeep Subscribe if you're interested in seeing more Jeep Grand Wagoneer videos. Thank you so much for watching. Take care and hopefully we'll see you in the next one.